like it if you now try to tell me or, or tell me what your opinion is, what your what it what art is to you. What does art mean to you? Oh my goodness. Spe especially now that you have the the taste now of the digital medium. Uh, I guess it, it um again, there was just a mushroom cloud that went up in my head. <laughs> <laughs> um what is art? <laughs> hmm. And and uh I guess like while, while you think about it, I guess, I don't know, because I remember that you, that in, you know, when we were in school, you were reading, I remember, I remember you specifically reading Art Spirit. I don't remember the art, the, the right, author. Right. Um, yeah. Robert Henry, I think, or it was the gist of art or the art spirit is one of the two. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and I remember also you talking a lot with Guno because, you know, Guno is amazing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but just because he, he he has really good advice sometimes in terms of uh, just, you know, try this or try that or whatever it is. He has a lot of experience also drawing. And I remember you also trying to draw something bad or ugly or whatever it is. To yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, so. Just to try it. I, you know, I mean, is, should I do the experience or the, the art definition first? Do you, have, do you have a preference one way or the other? Both. Oh, start right, start with, with whichever suit, whatever suits you. Okay, I'm gonna buy myself some time on the art question. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> no, I, I think that, you know, it, it's a constant process of trying to kind of find out what you're about. You know, I think there are a lot of people who come, come to it with a lot of existing conviction um, and confidence in kind of what their ideas are. And um, I, Re and continue to really struggle with that, you know, having with what I'm sorry, having a worldview or, or, or having a view that, yeah, yeah. having a, a conviction that kind of dictates what your craft is going to communicate, mm. right? Um, and I know I'll talk about this all the time, you know, I, I grew up with a father who was an artist and a brilliant one at that, and I have every bit the admiration for him um, that, you know, I could possibly give him. And, you know, it was so much fun to grow up and, and have all the, the books around. And I think if nothing else, it bought me a, uh, it bought me what some would deem a good taste, but others would deem not so much. Mm -hmm. um, again, that's subjective. Yeah. Um, but I think growing up, I really relied a little too much on others' opinions and really didn't put enough into cultivating my own. And um, in art school, particularly, it was, you know, I was, I was surrounded by a lot of ideas that I was not used to and, mm. you know, being young and insecure, it's still insecure, shit, we're artists, we all are, it's great, yeah, it's yeah. fun, that's what makes it fun. Yeah. Um, you know, so experimenting kind of came with that. Um, and I think that kind of speaks to what I think art is, you know, I think it's without sounding too saccharine, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's kind of, I think it's a case of self-exploration, you know, and whatever medium or method you choose to engage in that self-exploration is, is completely up to the artist. But I find for me, at least, it tends to be just that, you know, if I can, communicate how I'm feeling or what the kind of human experience is mm -hmm. um, in such a way that others can relate. I feel that I've done my job. Now I realize, you know, there's a lot of artwork out there that is clever, that is very heady or cerebral and, or political. Um, and I certainly don't knock that. I, I, I don't engage with it myself. I have a tough time relating to it, but it, people, people are going to do what they're going to do and more sure. power to them. Um, but yeah, I think my feeling is it's, it's kind of a self-exploration thing. I had um, a mentor once told me, mentor once told me, we had a long beard and a wizard hat. Um, well, he said, you know, when you're dealing with, he put it in the context of, of writing a story, right? Um, he said, when you're writing a story, oftentimes you're going to put 
life experiences or events or feelings in there subconsciously, right? Mm. And they're going to exist in the story and they're going to exist in real life. And you're going to solve them, hopefully, in either one or the other, right? You're either going to solve it in the story and you're going to, you know, there's going to be a light bulb that goes, oh, that's what I'm doing wrong, yeah. you know? Or you'll solve it in real life and all of a sudden you're going, wow, I was being a real jerk when I was writing this. Now I know I didn't, you know, now I know kind of what needs to be resolved. And I think, you know, in building an image, there's a lot of the, the same kind of stuff, right? Because we're, we're pulling from our experiences and, and um, our influences, you know. I would, I would put a lot of weight on that as well. And I think coming from where I come from, it makes, makes sense. You know, half of my experience has been just my influences. Um, there was a Catherine Howe, actually one of the teachers at the school. Mm -hmm. um, it was funny. We never, I don't think we, we saw eye to eye, but she, I always appreciated where she was coming from. And um, she made this book recommendation that I kind of hold in, in high regard to this day. It's called The Gift by Lewis Hyde. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's this idea that, you know, he, he traces this idea through folklore and mythology and, and anecdotes and all kinds of stories about how, you know, artwork isn't really created in a vacuum or creativity doesn't happen in a vacuum. Um, by that, I mean, if we didn't have our life experience and those around us, like the artwork wouldn't be informed. Like we can't right. really take full credit for everything we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of it has to do with our influences and, yeah. and kind of our interaction with the world and with one another. Um, and I think I, I, you know, in part because of how I came up and in part because of my experience now being a storyboard artist is very, very collaborative. It's all about, you know, showing an idea, having it shot down, trying another one. And everybody mm -hmm. goes, well, somebody else goes, oh, well, that's great. What if we tried this variation mm. of that? You know, and it becomes kind of this really fun, like show and tell, this game of charades. Um, sorry, is it? This is getting super long winded. I really no, no, but please go right ahead. <laughs> no, continue. But I think, yeah, I, you know, that's it. I think if I had to define it for myself, at least, it's a case of self exploration and this kind of process of collaborating with and and being a part of the creative experience that's happening around you at the same time mm -hmm. um, I mean that makes art. that makes perfect sense as like uh, you know at, at, at the very a, a very good opinion at least on what is the definition of art because um, that is exactly what I mean, I would agree, or I, I mean, I think that is exactly what we're doing in every possible layer of producing a work of uh, any, any work of art, because um, there's all of the, pro there's constant problem solving, like you were saying, uh, which is also a form of exploration. Yeah. Um, when you're, when you're making,